All right. It's good to be in church on a Sunday night. Let's stand. We go before the Lord in prayer and give God the glory and the honor and the praise. Worship Him. Worship the King and give God the glory tonight. Jesus is here to move and to bless through the power of the blood, through the power of the Holy Ghost, through the resurrection of the Son of Almighty God. He died under sin once, but now He is risen. And because He is risen, we can live unto Him. We can be holy. We can be right. It's in the name of Jesus that we can shout the victory. Go ahead and praise Him and give God the glory. Make up your mind that you love Him. You're going to live for Him. You're not going to be ashamed of Him in this present world. Jesus, we're thankful for that love tonight. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Brother, if you'll come. I am resolved.
worship Him. Worship Him and thank God that we can be anchored, anchored in Jesus. The storms of this life can't blow us off the rock. We're part of the rock tonight. Yes, stand upon the rock, Christ Jesus, and everything will be all right. Lord Jesus, we praise You. We worship You. Go ahead and sing. Pray tonight. Call upon God and worship Him. Call upon God. Call upon God and thank Him, praise Him, worship Him. This is the Lord that bought us out of sin. This is the Lord that shed His blood for us. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of all of our glory. Jesus, we worship and praise Your most holy name. Thank You, Lord God, for always being there for us. Thank You, Lord Jesus Christ. For that precious love. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, I want the ushers to come. Let's receive the Sunday night offering and tithe. Yes, and all Christians pay their tithe and give in the offering. Yes, and I'm thankful for this privilege tonight. Amen. For the privilege to be in the house of the Lord. For all that God is doing. I enjoyed uh, reading the homework this afternoon. Hope you did your homework. But I enjoyed reading that as the Lord God dealing with our heart about all these things. Just let the Lord re really bless you tonight. Brother, if you'll pray. I hope it's your prayer that the Holy Ghost just falls fresh upon your life tonight. As the choir sings, just let your heart open up to what God really wants to do in your life.
Praise God. Let the Holy Spirit come upon you tonight. Oh, yield to the Lord tonight. It's that simple. Say, yes, here I am, Lord. I'd like them to come sing something else. Get us another song ready. While they're getting another song ready, we'll see if we can't. We can't get in a better mood to worship you, tonight. Jesus. Would you come to worship God? Hallelujah. Who came to worship the Lord? You did? Listen. The Bible says, laud him, all ye people, which means applaud him. But there, um, sometimes there's too much of this stuff we call clap offering. Let's give the Lord a clap offering, which means you. Forget that. That's good once in a while, but not ten times a service. What the Lord's looking for from us is when this thing reaches up to him and the offering comes from your heart, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. That's what he's looking for. Did you come to do that or did you come to just clap your hands and stare at the wall? If you have a God and you love that God, it's a small thing to ask you to join us tonight to praise him. If you can't, then may God help you. But I came to praise my Lord tonight. Father, thank you and worship you. Let your Holy Spirit fall fresh in this service tonight. God, I praise you. We lift our hands to you, Lord. Here's our offering. We offer to you wanted sacrifice. Our adoration. I would obey. But my life is all I have, so I will live in. Dedicated to the honor. Let him be in the guidance of your desire for him. Your hand. Oh, dear I.
praise for who I am until my calling is fulfilled. Here I am. The King of Kings. But this is not Jesus. This is my old friend from the serviceman's home back in, what, 1979. We're old codgers. And we were born in the fire. The smoke won't do. So I came to have church tonight. And I know that this morning cut the congregation in half. But they'll be back. And they're probably with their Doritos right now, sneaking in so they can see what's happening without being in the middle of it. But I asked him to sing a chorus, to go sing some songs. And do you remember how you used to get out in the middle of the floor and just have church? Now what you doing? It's a big chapel. Look how big this thing is. It's intimidating. The first time I preached here, I felt like I was standing out on a diving board looking at everybody. But it's not that big. And I don't want a church that's so big that we have to feel apprehension about cutting loose and serving the Lord. So who's with me? Everybody, you gonna cut loose? What the choir gonna get a fast song going? Get us something fast, something upbeat. We were here an hour and a half this morning, so I'm not gonna preach an hour today or tonight. I didn't this morning either, but let's have church. Yeah. 
Why do we always have to come in and go through the same thing? Blah, 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 blah. If you, you know, if you're a Christian, get your hands in the air and your legs in the floor. Open up your mouth and say, you say you have a God. Where is thy God? David looked in the mirror at his tears. And he said that to himself. Why am I disquieted? Where is my God? So if you got a battle tonight, kick it to the wind. Realize that you serve a God who loves you, and he cares about you. And you know, when you get that thing moving, you just get things moving, it starts moving even faster. It's like running downhill on a sand dune. Next thing you know, you're falling down the hill. You can just get your prayer machine moving. Start praising the Lord, then you'll start feeling like it. And once you start feeling like it, what happened to lift Jesus higher? Now, you weren't going to sing until he sang. Oh. You're next. You're on deck. Come up here. Just hold that thought for a minute. That's good. We're not going to do anything near what they expect right now. Okay? So, I'm going to turn the, the chorus machine loose on you. And you know, I've known this guy for 40 some years. And I don't know, even, even if he's sad, he's got a smile on his face. <laughs> he's a happy Christian and a good brother, and I appreciate him. And he's happy tonight. He leads songs very happily. And so I want him to try to cheer you up a little bit tonight. <laughs> get a smile on your face. Because if you can get a smile, then your ears sort of move back out of the way. And you, you start feeling good on the inside. But, you, you know, God has to let you start that engine rolling. you got to pump the primer. Boom, boom, boom. Pull the chain. Pull that pull rope and get your engine moving. So if you're willing tonight to just say, hey, I'm going to put all I can into this. I'm going to worship God as, as hard as I can. And I want him, if you want him to do something for you, that's the way to do it. Not because I want you to do something. It doesn't matter to me. But if you're willing to do that, you'd be surprised how good you'll feel. And the Spirit of God will begin to move. He really will. Are you willing? Yes, All right, then let's just sing a few choruses, and we'll sing a choir song. And if I never preach, you'll be off the hook, you'll be blessed. Lift Jesus higher. this rushing to a fire thing right now we rushed to the fire this morning we rushed to a fire today and we're rushing to a fire right now that is not how rhythm is supposed to go it's not supposed to be lift Jesus higher lift Jesus higher lift them up all the world to see I want something that makes me want to tap my foot and swing in there you know, to get that beat going. You know what I'm talking about? How about you? Yes. You know how to do it? Show them how it's done. Oh, you're a hard crowd. Come Lift on. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lift him up for the world to see. He said it high. He lifted up from the earth. He power God.
need a miracle.
tonight and they're prepared we're going to sing one more song but here's the message for you and it comes out of Philippians 2 and it's about the fact that God gave Jesus a name that's above every name and I'm going to tell you why he gave him this name obviously it's because he humbled himself took upon him the form of a servant God highly exalted him because Christ obeyed all the way to the death of the cross. We know this what the scriptures say here. But I was thinking about it one day, how that not only did he lift him up and give him a name above every name, but he has put in that name inherent power, persuasive abilities over all things on earth, in heaven, and under the earth in so much that he said go forth in my name by the authority of my name cast out devils in my name rebuke sickness in my name do all things in the name of Jesus and no matter how much they've tried to destroy the name of Jesus and downplay it and dilute it, they have not been successful and they never will be because God made that name what it is. He exalted it to be the most powerful name. And for us as Christians, it reminds me of what uh, happened when that centurion came to Jesus about his servant that was sick. You remember that? He said, Lord, my servant is sick unto death. And Jesus said, I'll come, I'll come and pray for him. And the centurion was a Roman soldier, a powerful man, red broom on his head. He said, Lord, you don't have to come to my house. I'm not even worthy for you to come under my roof. All you have to do is speak the word. And Jesus said, that his faith had healed the young man. And before he even got there, the young man was already getting better. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. So that means, if there's something in the family, I can speak the name of Jesus over that. If there's a problem in your marriage, speak the name of Jesus over that. If you got a battle going on in your mind, speak to it in the name of Jesus. Run it out of your life. Use the name of Jesus. He gave it to us for this purpose. That he might be glorified. And you can say, the solution to my problem wasn't in anything I did. I just spoke the name of Jesus. And God did the rest of the work. And that's why I asked him to sing this song as a worship. Tonight, you can come up here. Speak the name of Jesus over your problem, your situation. That's your message for the night. And if you're not a Christian, you can call upon the name of Jesus. And he will do miracles for you. He will purge and cleanse you within. Make you whole. Save you. Bless you. 
take you to heaven. When it's all over. Amen. Let's sing it to him. Sing with us. Worship God with us. Invoke the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just dark addiction starts to break declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus your name is power your name is healing your
presence, I speak Jesus. I love that name.
And I want to speak over you tonight. And there are some that think this is just televangelistic stuff, but God will speak the name of Jesus over these people. You know their need. You know their hurt. You know everything about us. Lord, let that name of Jesus send forth comfort and strength to your people tonight. Satan has tried. He is active about trying to destroy, but you are the healer and the deliverer. Tonight, lay your hand upon them. Bless them. Cause your face to shine upon them. I'll give you honor and praise right now. You are the most wonderful, awesome King of Kings that ever was. You are mighty. You are holy, powerful, incredible, amazing God that you are. And I thank you that you saved us and washed us and made us whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to you tonight and forever and ever. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Remember, our service is coming up. And a uh, word to you students, I might be teaching. So be ready. We are scheduled for a music class tomorrow night. So we are having that. And that will be right here at 730. Okay? All right. Bless you all. See? How wonderful it is to worship God. Just got to get the engine started. The rest takes care of itself. Remember that tomorrow morning. You get up and your body says, no. And that's when you're, that's your cue to say, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and have a great day. Sing and praise the Lord. Enjoy his presence throughout the week. Amen. God bless you. You're just Then they'll roll them up.